Hi guys, this is me filming my first YouTube video, which is crazy because I have been addicted to YouTube and totally caught up with the YouTube beauty community for about three years now. And I've always meant to film my own videos, but I kind of just kept putting it off and saying, oh, you know, I will do it one day or I'll get around to it at some point. But eventually there comes a point where you have to bite the bullet and just go for it. So I decided that that time was now. Um, I got a little bit inspired a few nights ago by Gemma. She's one of the writers from Face Kit and um, she's a lovely girl from Scotland. She just filmed her first video a couple of nights ago and I watched that and I thought, okay, now is the time. So I thought I would start small with a little bit of a haul video because I have done a fair bit of shopping recently um, and picked up quite a few new bits and pieces. So I thought that I would show you some of them. So. The first few things are all lip products actually, which is bizarre because I'm usually much more of an eye makeup sort of person. Um, but these are all lip products, so let's get cracking with it. Um, the first one that I picked up in the Boots 3 for 2 last week is one of the very famous L'Oreal Caress lipsticks. Um, this one is in shade 301, it's called Dating Coral, which is a strange name, but it's a gorgeous product. Um, it looks like this. I'm sure you have all seen them um, all over YouTube and all over the blog sphere at the moment. Um, but this is just a gorgeous coral colour. Um, it's it's quite peachy coming up on camera, but it's got a little bit of pink in it. Um, this is just the most beautiful moisturising product. I absolutely love this. I would really, really recommend going and checking these out because, especially at the moment when Boots have got the 3 for 2 on, they are... A really good deal I think the packaging is gorgeous it's quite high-end looking sort of reminiscent of I think Dior there's a Dior lipstick that's got packaging quite like this and I just think it's absolutely lovely next thing is one of the very much discussed Revlon lip butters I've been waiting for these since November when Alison from Amreeks she did a review of them back in November on YouTube and on her blog and I just was so excited for these to come out over here um, the one I picked up is called Strawberry Shortcake and it's this gorgeous sort of sugary pink, rosy pink colour that is it there. It's not showing up brilliantly in the light but it's absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous colour. The thing that I will say about these is that I was kind of expecting, that's the, yeah there we go, um, I was expecting them to be more moisturising than what they actually are. Um, I think just because of the hype around them, how much they were talked about, it's, you know, it's the sort of most famous, I suppose, of these, like, new moisturising -y kind of lip products. So, I feel like it's maybe not quite as moisturising as what I had, like, what I had expected it to be. But the packaging's beautiful, the colour payoff's gorgeous. Mine's quite a light one, but you get some really gorgeous bright ones. Lollipop, Raspberry Pi, Candy Apple, they're all beautiful. Um, but I tend to try and... I veer away from kind of reds and really strong colours on my lips because they are quite small so I tend to like dirt my eyes and stick with sort of paler lip colours but I really love this, this is beautiful. Um, more of these kind of moisturising -y products, I picked up two of these um, Body Shop Colour Shine, they're, they're like the new version of the Colour Shine lipsticks, they're Colour Shine something, I can't remember what it is but I did review these on my blog. A couple of weeks ago so you can go on there I'll put a link um, in the description box and you can go and have a look um, so yeah these are from the body shop I haven't really bought a lot of products from the body shop before um, but my friend's working there at the moment and she said please come in and have a look they've got some really nice stuff and I got these for the introductory price of seven pounds which was fine but full price they're nine pounds which I think it's maybe a little bit of a rip-off but um, this is the first one, it's number three. What really annoys me about these is they don't actually, they have names because there's names on the website but they don't have the names on the packaging which is very odd. Um, but this is number three and it's a lovely pink, sort of blue toned pink. Um, it's actually coming up kind of peachy on there which is weird but um, it's really, really lovely. Um, these are gorgeous and moisturising. The, the staying power of these is really, really good. This one is number one. It's called, I remember what this one's called, this one's called Cheeky Coral, which I think is daft because to me that's like a really pale nudie peach shade, um, which I'll just swatch for you here. And that's it down. You can see how pale that is, um, especially next 
to the pinky one. Um, and when you compare it with the L'Oreal Coral, you can see it's a lot peachier, but regardless of the name, um, I really like this product. I think it's gorgeous. It lasts really well, but as I said, I think maybe £9 is a tiny bit of a rip-off when you're getting like the L'Oreal and the Revlon for like £7.99. So yeah, um, really lovely though. Um, another lip product, this is the second last lip product um, that I picked up, was this Vivo lipstick. Now, Vivo's a new makeup brand and it's available in Tesco. Um, and I work part-time in Tesco, so when I saw these coming in, I was really excited. Um, this one is called Coral Flare and you can see it's like a really gorgeous orangey coral. Um, it's a really true coral. And it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I picked up two of these. I've picked up a few of the Vivo products, actually. I've got their Ultimate Base Concealer Kit, which is fantastic. I might actually do a review on it at some point because it's really, really good. Um, and one of their little eyeshadow palettes. And two of their lipsticks. Now, the other one is a nude one, which I've got in my makeup kit for work. But this one I kept for myself. And I just think it's lovely. The great thing about this is these are $1.99 each. So I think that's pretty good um, if you're looking for maybe a slightly cheaper, more affordable version of these sort of very many moisturising lip products. These are really nice. The packaging is maybe not quite as flash as, as any of these kind of ones. Um, but you know it's fine, it's relatively sturdy. Um, so yeah, go and check these out if you're looking for maybe a more affordable version of these kind of things. Last in the lip product line, I picked up about 20 minutes ago um, in Boots and I haven't tried it yet so I can't really tell you anything about it but this is one of the um, Maybelline Colour Sensational Pop Sticks and this one is called Citrus Slice. Oh my goodness, I was so excited by these. Look at this, it's like, you can see right through it, it's like translucent, like neon orange and it's got like flecks of pink through it you can't really see it in that light but and it's going to be hard to swatch too because these are really sheer but in fact you're probably not going to see that at all can you just see the slight shine um these are gorgeous and there's i think there's about four shades maybe um but i really like this one i think partly because i'm a sucker for anything that mentions the word citrus um but this is very much like the Topshop Crystal lip gloss from the Sisters of the Moon. Sisters of the Moon? Yeah, the recent collection in Topshop. Um, these kind of like tinted balms, really, with a bit of sparkle in them. Um, but I haven't got that, and so when I saw this, I was sort of like, I think I'm going to give it a go. So it's really nice. Um, I haven't tried it, obviously, on since I only bought it 20 minutes ago, but um, yeah, I'm quite excited by that. So I'll let you know how I get on with it. Next things are, I'm sure this will come as no surprise, the Maybelline Colour Tattoo Eyeshadows. I have three. Um, now, the first one that I bought is Immortal Charcoal. Now, I bought this about a week and a half ago in Boots. The reason I bought it, see it's quite dark, it's sort of like gunmetal -y kind of colour, but I bought it because I went in and it was the only shade left. That is how desperate I was to try these. Um, I hadn't even really intended to buy this one, but since it was the only one left, rather than do what a sensible person would do and wait until, you know, they got more stock in, I was like, no, I have to have it. <laughs> so I picked up that one. It's actually a really lovely, gunmetal kind of colour. And I also have um, On and On Bronze, which I have been wearing absolutely non-stop. And you can see, like, obviously I've been swatching away at it, but um, you do not need a lot of this. That's just like one tiny little swipe on there, if you can see that. Um, and the colour payoff's amazing, they last so well. They're just, oh, these are gorgeous. Um, I also picked up um, Eternal Gold, but I haven't used it yet. Um, I'll just open it right now. So um, I love goldy, these kind of goldy cream shadows. They're so pretty and so easy to wear, even just like in the corner for like a little pop of kind of like highlight. So yeah, they're lovely. A um, couple more things to go. I picked up a new L'Oreal Super Liner. I love these. I've been using these for years. Um, I prefer this one. This one's the Black Crystals one, if you can see that. I actually prefer this to the plain black. I think 
it gives, I don't know, a little bit more of a sheen, I think. It doesn't sort of dry quite as flat colour. It's not sparkly, but it's um, it's got a little bit of kind of like a sheen to it. You can't really see that in this lighting, but um, love that. Easiest, easiest liquid liner to use, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinion, I know. Um, so, yep, yeah, love that. Um, I got this blusher from the body shop. I'm conscious of the time. It's 10 minutes, so I'm going to try and wrap this up now. I don't want to waffle on for too long, but... Um, I got this blusher from the Body Shop, um, which is shade 12, it doesn't have a name again, which is kind of annoying, but oh my goodness, I love this, I have been using this non-stop since I got it, it's like this beautiful marbleized ish peachy colour, and it's just, oh, it's so pretty, you can sort of see that on there, I think this would be a really pretty highlight colour if you've got quite a strong tan or quite a dark skin tone you could even just use this as a little sheen just on the top of your cheeks but for me who's relatively pale i just love this as just like an everyday easy to wear blush so i love that do check out the body shop blushers because i think they're about five or six pounds um but they're really really nice really really lovely nice texture and they last really well Lastly, um, I got in TK Maxx last week, TK Maxx and Watt Brothers are two of my favourite places in Glasgow to shop for makeup because you get stuff that you just, brands that you wouldn't get anywhere else in Glasgow. So I got a Physicians Formula Bronzer um, and I was so excited because I love um, hearing about brands like Physicians Formula on YouTube, any of the American YouTubers, you know, Candy Johnson, um, who else? 11th Gorgeous, the girls from 11th Gorgeous, um, Alison from Amrix, there's quite a few who mention Physicians Formula, you know, just every now and again, and we can't get it over here. So this is their Organic Wear 100% um, Natural Origin Bronzer, um, and it's a sort of like, it's so pretty, bronzer and like pinky blush highlighty kind of colour. Um, so I'll just swatch those for you. But these are really, really pretty. When you swirl them all together, um, it's just so, so lovely and fresh and gives you this nice, fresh, healthy glow. Adore the packaging. It's kind of like this woodeny sort of packaging. Um, little clear plastic bit at the top so that you can see the product underneath. And when you flip it over, it's got another little section. Oh, God. Um, with a mirror and it comes with a wee brush which I haven't tried I don't tend to really use the little brushes that come with these things but I think that's a really nice little touch to have that in there um, so yeah love the packaging love the product if you stay in Glasgow or you have a TK Maxx near you do keep your eye out for these kind of things because they're definitely good to pick up I got this for $4.99 oh I was so excited I can't tell you how excited I was so um, yeah that's, that's the last of my little collective haul from the past little while. The majority being lip products, which is very strange. Um, but yeah, um, so that's it for my first video. 13 minutes in, um, I'm going to leave it there. And I really hope that you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I'm so excited to have started filming videos now. And I hope that the lighting's okay. And I'm filming it on my phone, so the quality might not be spot on at the moment. But we shall see on my nails just in case anyone was wondering is concrete mixer from model zone i love it i love that color it's absolutely beautiful um and yeah i'm gonna stop rambling on now um thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you again soon bye